Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Bowman Baseball. Jumbo, eight box, pick your team number two, brand new release date. Remember, no vet paper, rookie paper, or prospect paper ships. Does not ship. Pretty common for us not to ship the paper. You know, if you've been with us for a number of years, you know this. But a new thing this year, we are shipping Bowman First paper. We are shipping Bowman First paper, which I think is the first time we've done this in many years. All chrome card ship, obviously paper numbered, numbered paper, inserts, chrome cards, autographs, blah, blah, blah. Of course, all of that stuff ships as usual. All right. There's our jumbo case right there. Big thanks to this group for getting into the action. Appreciate it. A lot of people buying their team straight up, which I appreciate. And some people who won their team in the filler with a little uh, rooftop next to your name. So thanks, everyone. No matter how you got in, thanks everyone for getting in. Appreciate it. So there's the eight box jumbo. Let's pop that open. I hope you, what you told me. Oh, 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 in talking about Thomas, our, our colleague Thomas, hopefully future baseball star, works at the shop here. Rex is saying, I, I should tell him that not to forget where he came from. I don't think he's going to have a problem with that. I, I'm, not, I'm not one for, uh, for trite cliches, Rex. I don't do that. All right, so obviously you know that jumbos have three autographs per box as opposed to Hobby with just one. Super Jumbo? Bowman Draft has Super Jumbo, right? This is just regular Bowman, but Bowman Draft has Super Jumbo. Those have five on But yeah, our colleague Thomas Bainton. Look out for him. He'll be... Uh, He's transferring from a little JUCO down here in Southern California in the LA area, South Bay area. He will be going to going over the hill, as we say, in uh, in LA, going over the hill to uh, to Cal State Northridge on a scholarship where he should be should be in the starting rotation. Maybe we'll see him in Bowman Baseball someday. Or Bowman Draft. Ooh, that's a plate down there, ladies and gentlemen. Now, train whistle-wise, we have seen um, an out of five, a red non-auto out of five. We have not seen a plate. We're about to see our first one down here. No Super Fracture yet. To be fair, we have not ripped very many cases of this, but... This will be our fourth case of the day. So it's still, still a small sample size for us, but who knows? Maybe we'll, maybe we'll have a super fracture by the end of the break. Good luck, everybody. We got a Hedbert Perez. I'm not sure why that was turned around, but that will ship. We got ooh, Joshua Bias. Lava to, nine, to 399. That'll be for the Cardinals. Jacob with that one. Just for, in the interest of time, we're going to set those aside. We'll have our shipping team take care of that. And we will do an autograph recap at the end of the break. If 
Vibration, Spencer Torkelson. And here's our first autograph. That's Ellie De La Cruz. I think he's one of the bigger names. Yeah, he's one of the bigger names here in this. Cincinnati, Mark Bissett with the Red Legs. Number eight, Reds prospect. It's pretty good. And we got a Yiddy cap. Slightly thicker insert on this. <laughs> if I hit a super in this, Rex needs me to stop with my mouth wide open, run out of the room, run back in, start screaming. You need sirens, confetti, and half shirts. I don't even know if we have any, have any of that here. There's Christian Gonzalez, 288 at 49. We don't have... I guess I could start screaming, but I don't know. I... I'm very protective of my my golden voice, so I don't want to I don't want to ruin my voice. I guess I could run back, run out and back in. That's not so hard, but I don't know. I'm a little tired right now. <laughs> Maybe I don't have the energy for that. Sirens? I suppose a fire truck. We live we we work near a fire station, so it's just. So maybe that could provide the siren. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna th think I'm gonna keep the shirt on. And the train whistle is for the Astros. That's Dory Lorenzo. Printing plate. That's gonna go to Mike and the Strohs. And all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. Out of fives and under, get the train whistle. Pretty nice. Set that right there. And Mike got that team straight up as well. Appreciate that. And here's a second Astros autograph for you. So nice, nice start. Two of the three autos, Mike. And the plate. It's 178 out of 299, Tyler Whitaker. Third round pick. Nice speckle pattern right there. So those are your three autographs. There's Brandon Marsh. So actually, we'll just kind of leave these here so we can we know what we're looking for. There's the three bonus auto, maybe. I don't I doubt it, but never know. Nice Denver, Denzer Guzman, 12 out of 199. Fuchsia Lava, Mark the set with the Halos. Diego Cartaya, one of the Dodgers' up-and-coming catching prospects, is one of the reasons why they were able to let go of Kiebert Ruiz. Jaspies can start donating to the fire department, have them on standby for every time we pull a monster. I don't know if we want to waste their time like that, Rex. It's not like your uh, Rex. It's not like your 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 small town volunteer fire department. You know, getting cats out of trees. It's the big city here. Big city. They they got they got they got better things to do.
All right, there's our three autographs. There's our first jumbo box. Next jumbo box. Jolly Ren? What, what's that blue flavor? Blueberry. It's really, really Blueberry. Nice. Blue raspberry. Looks delicious. Jolly Rancher. My personal favorite Jolly What's everyone's favorite Jolly Rancher? I'm a hard candy guy, so I like the hard candies. I want... I'm a watermelon. I'm a watermelon. A watermelon Jolly Rancher? Ooh, thank you. This week brought to you by Jolly Rancher Hard Candy Watermelon Flavor and this Blue Raspberry Flavor here too. That looks exciting. Got a purple Zaid Salinas to 250. Uh, purple chrome for the Pirates. That'll be for Kareem. And our first autograph of the box. That's Hendry Mendez for the Brew Crew. Mark the set of the Brewers. I mean, I could. Oh, I think it's... No, 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 I, I, I could. No, I haven't even thought about that. That's like next level, Jason. <laughs> Two different uh, Jolly Rancher flavors to make one awesome flavor. Julio Rodriguez. Tara, there's Austin Martin. I got a Matt Manning paper to four ninety nine. That's for Detroit, that'll be for Jason F. Ooh, I thought that was a super for a second. No, it's just a gold shimmer. And that's another Astro. That's Tyler Whitaker. 8 out of 50. Gold shimmer Bowman first autograph. That's another one for Mike D. There you go. Third round pick. Nice. Number 6 Astros prospect. It's 
And we've got an Aqua parallel to 125, Victor Lizarraga. Tony Gosselin's having a good season. Huh? He really is. That's for the Padres. That's for Karim. Aaron, like, chase Elby's number now. Is he really? He's 26 now. I don't, I, think, I don't think he was 26 when he first pitched. I don't think so either. I thought he was like 40-something. Mm -hmm. Catman. Catterday. Whenever he pitches. Is that what it is? He loves cats. Really? Yeah, he's got, he'll wear like, he'll wear like, in spring training you'll see him like in cat t-shirts, cat socks, wow. like cat stuff. That's funny. He has cats. Like, he's the one that wants to say Mary's, right? I think so, actually. He's the one that's the one that Mary's, right? That's the one that Mary said that like she... Right, right, right. That I don't know if she had classes with him, but she said I think she's seen him at school. 120 out of 150, virtuistic uh, vibrations, Jordan Walker. All right, we'll see you tomorrow, Jason. All right, see you, Jason. Wait, Rex, what kind of alchemy are you talking about here? Ever see those videos where people take a package of Jolly Ranchers, put them on a baking sheet with parchment paper, and melt them in the oven, then mix together while melting, then they let cool and then break apart? What kind of breaking bad science is this? What kind of madness is that, Rex? What kind of videos are you watching? So this and and it just mixes all the flavors together. Does that taste good? Now I'm curious. There's a Colton Kowser to one ninety nine. Top five pick. It's for the Orioles. Kenneth with the O's. And our third autograph is Matt Frazier. One, two, three out of 150 for Chad and the Pittsburgh Pirates. All right, next box. The ones next to each other mix. I've never tried it, but it looks good. It makes it look like a colored glass piece. Oh, the ones next to each other mix. So I, I guess it just depends on, it's not like one, I see, I see, I see. Like if these two were next to each other, these would kind of melt together and the one next to that would melt together. Hmm. What's the advantage of doing that? Why would they, why would you do that in, rather than just put these two in my mouth at the same time? What's the difference? Or what, what, what are they claiming the difference is? You can find anything on the internet, folks. It's amazing. Oh, I see. There's a lot more melted Jolly Ranchers in your mouth at, at a given time. I see. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. The others would be in smaller pieces. I got you. I, I can wrap my head around it now. Has anyone tried this? Anyone listening in the chat actually tried this? Melting a, bun a package of Jolly Ranchers, melting them in an oven, and then cooling them and putting them back and then kind of chopping them up again.
Just want viewed all of our NT breaks, not a single line. Insane. I don't think it's that insane. I'm sure if you if you go through the entire I mean, here's the thing with NT. The checklist is so huge. So there's a lot of variance. So there could be another three cases that we do where it'll just be someone's gonna be like, why are there so many lines? I'm sure there are a lot of other teams that were probably not represented either. So not it's not like they were just singling out the lines. There's Yosar, Yoswar Garcia uh, to 399. Phillies paper going to Justin. I know you. I know Trendsetter. You just think that that these these cases are just out to just screw over your team. There's Jan Contreras, Bowman first autograph. Oh yeah, I can't imagine that the that the Lions checklist is also that big in the first place. There's Max Muncy, not that Max Muncy, but A's Max Muncy. Speckle for EA. I mean. <laughs> no offense, but what, what kind of lines do you want to see in there? You want to see more Panay Sewell? Everyone hungry for those uh, those Jared Goff base cards? But hey, you know what's going to happen is when the when the Lions get like some monster pick and then they become too expensive, trendsetter, then it's going to be like. Now I can't afford the Lions. I, I never, I can never win, right? There's Curtis Me to 4.99. But listen, it's a pick your team break. The 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 cost, the risk of going in on a team like the Lions is adjusted to what you could potentially get out of there too. So. Thankfully, you're not playing, paying Jaguars prices. That's true. Monroe St. Brown, yeah. I don't forget, Transcender. I, 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 I don't forget at all. That's the one thing that I'm keenly aware of, how much everyone spends here. You know, sometimes it's going to work out, sometimes it's not. That's the risk. Sometimes I go to Vegas on a work trip and stay up too late and play blackjack till 4 in the morning. 30 out of 50, Pablo Aliando. <laughs> and, and, you know... I'm down a lot. So I get it. I mean, it's not easy. And it's not like you're the only one, Trendsetter. A lot of people in your boat as well. You know, so, I mean, do you, have you seen my baseball picks? Those have been terrible in April. Why do I keep doing it? I don't know. <laughs> it's fun. As long as you're having fun, I guess that's the key. If you're not having fun, don't buy the group breaks. I want, I want everyone to have at least a little bit of fun. Even if you don't have a good break, at least you can walk away and be like, okay, I was mildly entertained by Joe. <laughs> There's Averson Ortega to 150, Blue Shimmer. For the Giants, that'll be for Han. Yeah. 
All right, another another three autos down. Another three autos to to find in here. I'll take it here, trendsetter. Let me give me let me give you some info right here. Take a look at group rate checklist has that that'll be some interesting info that you might want to look at. So that group rate checklist has a team total list, so you can see the total number of, of hits that um, a, a team will have. So at the top of the list, it looks like just in terms of just, and this doesn't have too much to do with value of a team, but just for your knowledge, the Cowboys and Niners have the most hits. Cowboys, Niners have 10,868 hits compared to the Cowboys 10,017 hits. Right? And on the lower end of things, I'm trying to just eyeballing this list while I'm ripping these packs here. I think the Bills might have the lowest number of hits, 3,383. Almost 3,400 hits. The Titans only have 2,000 hits. And the Lions weigh in at about 3,800 hits. So they're, they're, they're already on the sort of lower end of, kind of on the lower end of the spectrum for, in terms of, in terms of hits. There's Alejandro Hidalgo for the Halos. Right. Yeah, it's a good resource, right? I, it, it's, it's just, I think it kind of gives people a general idea of, you know, especially when you're thinking, come on, why am I not hitting? Or then you can kind of see the context of what some other teams have versus what your team has in terms of quantity. Now, this doesn't, that list doesn't really do anything for us quality-wise, right? It doesn't have that information, but... That's it's at least a starting point to kind of get an idea of, of you know, why I, it's like when people go, man, are, is this team even in this set? You know, I hear that a lot. And it's like, well, yeah, but. And so, and here's uh, Pedro Leon, to th not 399, some lava right there. So when you kind of look at it that way, and especially then take into account just how many hits or in how how few boxes 
and they do make a decent number of NT. You know, not as much as this stuff, Bowman, but they do make a decent amount of it. So there's going to be a bit of variation on that. Yeah, they don't do they don't do the team totals, um, Aaron, with every uh, with every product. I think it's just based on what information they have. I think I think NT everything is numbered, so they're able to do the calculations on that. So at this, they're not going to have that in, that team total information for every product. We got Cooper Kinney, refractor to 499. That'll be for Tamoya and the Rays. And there's Damiano uh, Palmagiani, 108 out of 299. The first auto we've seen of his. Blue Jays, 14th round pick. Top 500 prospect. Could be a late bloomer here. That is for Jose and Toronto. Ooh, nice. There you go. Nice Amonra. I, lo I love that Panini one. Right, Rex. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Especially with the teams that aren't exactly like the, the, the top tier teams, at least for that particular season. And another Damiano Palmagiani for Jose. In Toronto, you got the speckle version, now you got the base version. And that's with a spot that Jose won in the filler. We got Alan Cer uh, Serta, 238 at 299 for the Reds. It's from Mark, Mark Bissett with that fuchsia paper. And we got a cool Asa Lacy Bowman Top 100 card, number 13, 34 out of 50. That is for Kansas City. That's going to be for Travis. It's Jordan Adams as well. Rex remembers when his Cubs were always super cheap. And then Chris Bryant came and ruined everything. So we got our three autos already. Let's see if we can find anything else here. All right, we are halfway through the break, ladies and gentlemen. Four boxes in. So it took me about 35 minutes. So about another 30, 35 minutes to go. Trendsetter says, I can't imagine any player ruining it for your lines. You're, well, they'd ruin it would ruin it if, uh, if the Lions get the number one overall pick this year and if they take a quarterback. You know... 
then the Lions will be probably one of the more expen most expensive team in the break. And then you'll be ta telling me next year around this time, Trendsetter, dang, why are my Lions so expensive? Or maybe two years from now, because be the draft already happened. But maybe two years from now, you'll be like, damn it, Joe. I should have I should have enjoyed my the Lions price at the time when I had the chance. Now that they picked a quarterback in the draft in 2023, I'm trying to do 2023 NT, and they're the most expensive team. Thousands of dollars a spot. And you'll be longing for the good old days. <laughs> well, no matter the team, no matter the team, if, if you if you have a number one pick, you know, that team's going to be, for at least for that season, that team's going to be the most expensive team probably. I think I'm, I'm assuming Chris Bryant's doing well because Colorado's having a nice season. I'm sure he's part of that. There's Luis Verdugo for the Cubs to 499. Refractor for Jeremy. And behind Jordan Walker is Trey Sweeney. Trey Sweeney for Anthony and the Yankees. First, their first round pick. You know what I'm saying? It's Saver, how could any other QV, right? But that's not how we price teams. It's just the market will just dictate. There's Nick Gonzalez, uh, paper to 499 for the Pirates, Chad. I like the new Lions coach, though. He seems to be a character. You know? I think you're down on the... There's Anthony. There you go, Anthony. You got the Yankees' late first-round pick. Let's see if we can find some more. There's Victor Lizarraga. 103 out of 199. Fuchsia Chrome for the Friars. And we talked about this trendsetter about your about your lines. Look at look at the I know can't just look at the win loss, but look at how many games were were within one score. If that if that part changes just one or two plays here and there, Lions probably could have won like eight nine games. There's James Wood. For Kareem and the Padres. Six innings from Arias. Second round pick. Oh, those Chris Bryant's numbers, Rex?
We're out of time, Joe. The Lions haven't won the division since 1993. Well, I mean, wait. I mean, you can just quit being a Lions fan then. That's one option. Or you can just keep believing that it can be turned around. Listen, it's not like in the last two decades. It's not like my Raiders have been have been any good. Thirty out of four ninety nine. There's Wilman Candelario for the Royals. That'll be for Travis. All right, another three autos down. Another three to go. Why did the Dodger fans boo Jock Peterson? Because he's a dirty, dirty giant. San Francisco giant now, Rex. Oh, really? Is the 2024 draft going to be in Detroit? With the first pick of the 2024 NFL draft, the Detroit Lions select franchise quarterback. Is that BS, though? No. Why is it BS? It's not his first time back. He was well-received when he went to the... When he went to the uh, the Braves, and was there for a season. Helped him win a World Series. First time he was back, well received. Cheered on. And then after that. There's Creed Williams, 36 out of 499. Orioles autograph for Kenneth. Cassianos had a home run overturn because of fan interference.
You can tell I love breaking this up. I do. I love prospecting. I'm a big fantasy baseball fan, so I'm always ahead of the curve on like these prospects by the time I finish breaking a bunch of these. We do have a minor league spot in our fantasy league. So, uh, so yeah, I do love it. It's a little long, but I learn a lot in these breaks. And then I've got I've got these prospects sort of in my head. By the time what a couple years or so, see her mom. You know, a lot of these, especially the ones that are that come out of college, they usually come up a little bit earlier because they've already got some seasoning, three or four years of seasoning in college. So you start you see those guys maybe within a couple years or so, like what Spencer Torkelson was and stuff like this a couple years ago. And, um, and he's already up in the majors now. Struggling a little bit. still early, but well, those guys are on your radar kind of earlier than usual. There's Joshua Baez for the STL. Jacob. So, the, I mean, these are, the, these are the stars of the future. Hopefully the stars of the future right here. Hunter Green, we saw, we saw this guy in this Bowman stuff maybe a few years ago, I think. He's, he's from Southern California. He's outside of, uh, I think he's in Southern California, Northridge maybe? And what's coming up here? Some speckle, George Valera. 90 out of 299 is Bowman first. It's for Mark, Cleveland Guardians. We go top 50 prospect according to baseball prospectus. So whenever Bowman or Bowman Draft comes out, I'm always like, yeah, here's some fancy baseball research right here. Which I got close to winning the my championship last year. Just fell short. Slow start to this season. There's a Ricardo Genovis to 125, Aqua Shimmer. And here is Dario Lopez, 51 out of 399, lime green paper. Two boxes to go. We're almost there. Trevor May apparently is going to miss 8 to 12 weeks. With a, he's diagnosed with a stress reaction and the humerus of his throwing. The humerus is up here, right? Uh, well, it was initially termed triceps inflammation. Wow. Yeah, I think I thought he signed a... He was the uh, Twins... 
reliever for a while. Great middle middle inning option kind of guy. I think he was supposed to be one of the strong bullpen arms for the Mets. What other baseball notes? White Sox notes? Athletics outright Austin Allen. Giants outright Jason Prezan activates Mike Yastrzemski. Red selecting Albert Almora, Ronnie Dawson. Mariner signing Francisco Abad to, to a minor league contract. Orioles Chris Ellis undergoes season ending shoulder surgery. All right, second to last box. Three more autographs to go. Good luck, everybody. Take a look at the standings after this as well. Joey Bart has a few home runs already, but he's only hitting 196. We got Jordan Walker, Aqua Shimmer to 125. Late first round pick for the Cardinals. He's, he's projected to be pretty good. It's Josh Young. Nice, Marcelo Meyer, 51 out of 99. Some of these 3D cards can be autographed. And here we go. Zachary with the Boston Red Sox, one of their up and coming prospects. Nice. Yeah, the Red Sox have, have a number of guys coming up the pipeline. One of those guys have to work out, right? Yeah, guys like Bobby Dalbeck, Jeter Downs has to be working his way into the team at some point. Marcelo Meyer, Jaron Duran. There's some names. There's some names that could be somebody's. Noel V. Marte reveals a Jason Santana for the Cubbies. Bowman first autograph for Jeremy Harder. Rated as number 17 prospect by Baseball America. It's Torkelson. Blake, guys like Blaze Jordan, too. Sox, once they just once they get out from under that Chris Sale contract, get out of that JD Martinez contract, once they're kind of free of that, by then they'll have a lot of these youngsters coming up the ranks. They'll have them under team control for like five, six years. And you open up the pocketbook a little bit, 142.50, Averson Ortega. It's for Han and the Giants. Hmm. Red Sox, 
We'll be back to back to winning ways. There's Jay Allen. Purple Chrome Lava to 250. Reds, that'll be for Mark Bissett. There's a regular 3D card right there. See how Jason Dominguez does this year. A lot of hype around him. Didn't seem like a lot of booze there, Rex. Jock Peterson. Ooh, nice. What, uh, have you let Jason know as well? Do you, do you have time to visit? Will it be during a time that I will be here? There's Jonathan Klaas. It's 250 purple paper for Daniel and the Mariners. Do you know what uh, what day days of the week you'll be here? June three and four. What what is it? What what days are Friday and those are my days off, trendsetter. Hmm. I'll have to see what I'm doing. Maybe I can pop down and say hi. Those are Jason's days, though. He'll be he'll be on YouTube those on a Friday, Saturday. Wilmer Flores is already 10 years in the league. It seemed like yesterday he was, he was up with the Mets. Nice. Hopefully we can figure, figure something out. And when we get closer to the, to the end of the month. When's the last time you've, you've been at the shop? There's a junior, San Quentin, 299, Speckle. All right, we got Martin Jimenez, 
71 out of 499. Looks pretty active on the base pass here. That goes to Jose and the Bluebirds. Oh, you were oh you were here in March. Okay. Ooh, and a redemption behind Rookie of the Year favorites Brandon Marsh. Congratulations to Shum some Shumwan. What am I, Sean Connery? It's to someone. You're due to receive a Chrome Prospect autograph of, oh, purple refractor parallel of Chicago White Sox or Cubs? White Sox, Oscar Colas. Have I heard of this guy? I'm not sure. I feel like I've, I, the name sounds familiar. That goes to uh, Dale in the White Sox. There you go, Dale, on the board in the last box. Second to last auto. Better late than never. We got Green Speckle, Adrian Sigasti. 11 out of 99. Is, is, that, is that Tails in Espanol? Colas? That's like uh, that's like uh, Boston Red Sox player Tristan Casas. He's Tristan Houses. Jack Sawinski to four ninety nine. Oh, he's a good. Rex is saying he's a big Dominican prospect. Like big as in stature, or or highly touted. I don't have the back of the baseball card. I don't know how, how, how big that how big he is. This is Luis Gonzalez, green paper to three ninety nine. And the last autograph of this jumbo break, Mason Albright. That is Mark Bissett and the Angels. And let's see if we can find maybe some low, no, another low-numbered parallel before we finish off this box. And I'll do an autograph recap in just a second. Thanks to Rex and Trendsetter. Aaron for keeping me company throughout this jumbo case break. There's Otani to 199, purple paper. Errol Vera, Drew Waters, Bryson Stott, and that, my friends, is that. We did it. We knocked out a box of 2020, or a case of 2022 Bowman Baseball Jumbo, eight box, pick your team number two. We've got more Bowman Baseball in the store, so check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. We did that five case, uh, we did that five case filler today, which was awesome, so thanks very much to everyone there. Appreciate it. And uh, appreciate everybody watching, breaking with us, buying spots, all that good stuff. This break was brought to you by uh, Jolly Ranchers. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next break.